We welcome you back to Longhorn Weekly. I'm Craig Way, Michael Center, Texas men's tennis coach, and now also Patty Fendick McCain, the Texas women's head coach, joins us as well. I asked you guys this question a year ago about how instrumental it was to both of you to to share uh, and and fact find and and to just be able to uh, commiserate about the good, the bad, the indifferent of all that is collegiate tennis. And uh, I, I don't know if some folks were surprised here, but how much you guys do kind of lean on one another and chat quite a bit about things. Well, I'll go, I can answer that. I mean, I think it's critical that the, <laughs> in our sport that the men and the women's coaches work together. We share a facility together. Uh, we have scheduling issues that we work around. Um, you know, there are different things that are happening within our sport, how it's scored, the format. There are a lot of things that we have to discuss. Uh, we work camps together. So it's, we're really, uh, we're connected at the hip. And if you're not working with your, uh, your sidekick there, it's not going to be a good thing. Patty, is he the sidekick for you or are you the sidekick? For him? <laughs> oh, it, it, it varies. Um, yeah. But, you know, I think uh, it's great to have Michael as, as such, a, such a strong resource. Um, he goes through the same thing we do every day, and it's great to be able to draw on his experience, and, um, you know, we're kind of in it together through thick and thin. Now, the, the, the folks who are listening all across the state or watching that may not be completely familiar with what's going on with the construction of the medical center and the, and the way things are going to change around campus, and uh, that's why I wanted to give both of you a chance to give a little bit of the, the memories and the things that we call the Pinnock Allison Tennis Center since things are all going to change now. Well, I, uh, I started here in 2000, and this facility is 28 years old now. So Coach Snyder spent 14 years, and now I spent 14 years walking from Belmont or the North End over to Pinnock Allison back and forth multiple times a day. So I spent a lot of time in that building. Uh, it's going to be very sad uh, to see it go down. It's such a beautiful facility and it's such a great spot. Um, I know it's exciting to have a medical school on campus, but um, it's it, we've had some great memories, some great matches, but it's just... Uh, it's really an historic building. I, you know, I was at the high school championships uh, just this past couple of days watching and people, are, everybody's asking me, what's going to happen? Where are you going? You know, I can't believe this building is, is being torn down because not only have we played there, but they've played all these, these kids that have come through and won state championships and played at Pinnock House. And so a lot of memories for a lot of people. How about you, Patty? Well, I mean, I have my own memories as a player, obviously, you know, playing NCAAs here uh, in my junior year when I was at Stanford, and great memories from that because I won the tournament, obviously. Um, <laughs> Absolutely. But, you know, it's it's astonishing to think how many uh, great tennis players have been through Pennock Allison over the years. I mean, Andy Roddick did Longhorn tennis camps and just all the, all the kids that we've had through, and like Michael said, you know, the high school kids and... You know, it's, it's been a great place for guys that are on the tour that have come through and trained there, you know, when they, when they get a chance to hit a few balls out there. So it's been a, an instrumental part in, in a lot of tennis players' lives. Michael, does that make this time getting to host a little more poignant for you this time around? Well, I, you know, I was thinking about it today as I was driving out to 51st Street to look at what we're going to be doing for next year. And you know, I hope we have a great crowd. And and I hope we can finish strong, and, and uh, I know uh, it will be emotional. I've talked to Ricardo, I'm like, we're gonna go get our uh, chairs, and we're gonna sit down on June 1st or June 2nd and watch that building be torn down because uh, there's been a lot, of, a lot of memories in there, good and bad, some tough losses in there as well, but, uh, but it's, it, like Patty said, it's just a special place that's touched a lot of tennis players' lives. Yeah, uh, Patty, you think you'd be able to go through that emotionally? You, uh, and you, for that matter, Michael, sit there and watch <laughs> that stuff come down, watch the building come down? It's kind of shocking, actually. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. still shocking to me that that building will not be there. Yeah. It yeah, it's, to it's so really, fast. it's, it, yeah. you know, I think in the fall of 2012, it went, you know, it was voted upon and that referendum was passed. and. It, it, I, you know, typically on university campuses, things take time. There's a lot of different avenues to go through this stamp of approval, the Board of Regents, or whatever process that it has to go through. Things don't happen quickly. And this has happened quickly, <laughs> yeah, you know, fast. and very fast. And it's, uh, you know, we're just having to, to adjust and, and be flexible. But it will be a uh, it'll be a sad day to see to see Pennick go down. You you spoke of uh, over at Fifty First at Whitaker and where the and where the plan will be for the future or at least for next year. Can tell folks a little bit about this and what what 
your programs are going to encounter? Well, we're going to face a year of, of a temporary facility. We're resurfacing 10 courts starting at the end of this week once classes finish. We're going to conduct camps out there this summer. Uh, but it's two banks of five courts. Um, we'll have some trailers out there for, for office space and a little storage area. Uh, and we're going to do the best that we can, but you know we hope to be constructing a, a stadium facility right next door that they'll be capable of hosting the NCAA championships and a uh, place that uh, all our tennis fans will be proud of to, to come see us play. Patty, can you envision wearing a, a hard hat out there while you're coaching? I think we have our hard hats from the, <laughs> when we built the indoors. You still yes, have yours, right? Yes, yeah, we're, yes. we're good. We're good. Yeah, okay. yeah we're good. <laughs>